it's a very grave situation in Kerala. This unprecedented situation needs to be handled with utmost care. I request all the volunteers not to just jump into action and disturb whatever the agencies are doing. It's best that all of you work with the agencies. I beseech everybody in the country to contribute to make sure that rehabilitation happens. I… I know everybody knows what to do, but I request everybody concerned, particularly Indian Navy and uh, the Coast Guard who can do a lot because this needs a military-grade intervention. This is not something that people can do something hands-on there except for supplying food or helping people, providing accommodation for the people who have left their homes, but the real interventions need to happen in a military grade and I request all concerned, the Prime Minister and the Chief Minister to be with the people there and uh, in whatever way we can support in elevating the suffering of the people of Kerala, we are very much there for you. But I once again beseech the volunteers, don't simply jump into action, risking either your life or more lives. It's important you work with the existing agencies on the ground. This is not the kind of situation to just jump into action. And uh, this is our commitment that all the volunteers and also at Isha Yoga Center, for the next one month, let us commit ourselves to save on va various things, skip a meal on Monday nights and uh, contribute whatever we can. Our financial contributions may be nothing for the scale of devastation that's happened there, but the important thing is that we express our empathy to the people of Kerala. Right across the border, this is happening. I request all the people in Tamil Nadu, when the waters recede, large numbers of Tamil people should go there and support rehabilitation work in Kerala. I am with you in whichever way possible and uh, this is a grave moment. This is a time to stand together irrespective of language, caste, creed and see what can be done on the ground.